Welcome to part 2 of the Photoshop tutorial. We're now about to move on to some more advanced features of Photoshop. Based on the scaffolding approach, we're going to take superimposing a little bit further. In the next activity, we're going to create a Salvador Dali type of painting. Using multiple superimposing, we're going to create a type of artwork called Surrealism. The first thing you're going to need to do is find three or four pictures and save them to a folder. The most important picture will be a landscape background. It should have a high resolution to ensure that the picture comes out looking good. I'm going to start by opening up my landscape picture. Now I'm going to open up each of the other pictures. As I open up each of the new pictures, I'll need to ensure that I crop the pictures and select only what I want to superimpose. So the first one I'm going to open up is a jumping dog. And here he is over here. I'm going to show you one new trick. It's called using the magic eraser tool. After I finish cropping the picture, which I'm going to do right now, I can use the magic eraser button to erase around the outside of the image I want. The magic eraser button only works by picking up all of one color and erasing all of that specific color. It makes the job of erasing much faster. The other way to erase is to simply click on the eraser button and manually erase as if you had an eraser at the end of a pencil. So right now I'm going to go over to the toolbar and there's a little picture of an eraser. If you click and hold it and drop down to magic eraser tool, that will give you the ability to click and erase everything in the background that's the same color. Now with certain things that didn't erase out completely I go back to eraser tool and instead of magic eraser I just use eraser tool and now I have a little brush, an eraser brush and I'm going to erase out anything that's left over. can also change the size of the brush and the diameter by going up here which makes your eraser brush much bigger. Okay, now that I've erased everything I can click on that dog, bring him over and drop him in. Now I can get rid of my jumping dog picture in the background because I do not need him anymore. So I'm going to get rid of him because now I have the dog over here. I can move the dog around, I can resize it. Remember the tool called free transform. So I'm going to free transform, make him a little bit smaller. I'm also going to flip him horizontally. I'm also going to use this little tool in the bot the uh, sorry the top right hand corner which looks like a curved arrow that allows you to rotate and apply the transformation and I'm going to put him right here jumping over the sailboat. Now, I'm going to add the other pictures including an elephant. I'm going to use the magic eraser tool, erase out everything in the background, and now he's ready to bring into my picture, drop him in, He's good to go. Now I see that there's a little bit of white background so I want to use my magic eraser and get rid of that little white space. A little bit of this. Any of the little imperfections that you find you can get rid of fairly easily using the eraser tool. There. I'm not going to uh, get too perfect here. Not that any of the things I do is remotely close to perfect. Now you can actually use some of the interesting tools. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to free transform him, make him a little bit smaller. 
But now, what I want you to do is start looking into some of the filters. We know how to superimpose now. Um, but Photoshop has some amazing filters. One of them is called Liquify. So if you go up to the filter drop down menu and you go down to Liquify and click on it, now I can actually take the elephant's legs and stretch them out and reshape them. So I'm going to do that to all of his legs and stretch them right out. Try to get them so that they're all fairly even. I might even take that snow to his. Stretch it out a bit. Okay, once I hit OK, it transfers that image that's been liquefied onto my background and I'm just going to move him around a little bit so that he fits a little better onto that landscape. Okay, now be sure to tell your students to get as creative as they want and uh, believe me they'll take full advantage of this. Um, if they do make any mistakes always remember that they can go up to the edit button and either hit the undo or the step backward option which will change anything that they've done. Okay, so now we have a dog jumping over a sailboat. We have a massive elephant with super long legs. And I could probably add something else to this, but I think you basically get the point. Now, after you check out some of the different filters, and like I said, the the options are endless. There are tons of filters that have different effects on the overall image. Um, once you're happy with all of these layers that you have now on your your final product, what you want to make sure is that you flatten the image which takes all three layers and flattens it into one. And no artwork would be complete without the artist's signature. So using the horizontal type tool, which looks like a T over in the toolbar, you want to click on that, click on the color that you want. So I'm going to go with uh, black. And then you click where you want to put your name. So I put here by John Berkman. And again, if you wanted to crop this entire thing to leave certain parts out, you could do so. Crop, and now I'm done. Now you have a completed Salvador Dali painting.